and welcome back to DXB Today. Now joining us right now in the studio, we have Alyssa Astrid. Thank you so much for joining us. But before we go and have an interview with Alyssa and find out a little bit more about all of her incredible upcoming music, our very own Ash had an interview with none other than Sadhguru, the founder of Save Soil. Internationally renowned spiritual leader and founder of Save the Soil Movement, Sadhguru, kicked off COP28 last week at the first ever Faith Pavilion, spreading a message of spirituality and climate action. Climate change and the critical role of healthy living soil has been something that you have been championing and challenging for so many years. And so it's no surprise that you're here for COP28. I want to know a little bit more about what all you are here to do. So one important thing is that though I've been talking about soil, the significance of soil and soil regeneration for 30 years now, three decades, but uh, largely the climate action and the climate narrative largely ignored it. Last year, they took notice of it after say for a little mm -hmm. bit, but this year it becomes a states. Madam Al-Mahari, uh, who's the environment minister anyway, right now they made a, what is called as agricultural declaration, a commitment to show investment and action towards agriculture, which means soil and soil means farmers. It's very important. Now, you mentioned um, during uh, one of your interviews here for COP28 that COP28 is not the ultimate solution, but it is an effort towards spreading awareness. And especially recently, the UAE pledged uh, $100 million towards developing countries to combat some of the issues they face because of climate change. So my question to you is, is there enough money in the world that can repair or reverse some of the damage, or does it start from our mindset? So right now, uh, if you talk about the money, if you re regenerate the science of the world, Every year, in terms of social costs, you can save about $600 billion per year. If you enrich it beyond the minimum, let's say you make it 5-6% organic, you will save over a trillion dollars per year. You will not spend it, you will save. In terms of healthcare, in terms of physiological effects that it has, it will be huge impact. Uh, it was so refreshing listening to your fresh perspective on life. It's almost uh, envious how clear you see things and I don't have very much to disagree with you all. It was such a pleasure meeting you. Incredible interview there by Ash. What an honor to meet the amazing Sadhguru. Now in the studio, we have none other than Alyssa Astrid. Alyssa, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So a little bit about yourself. You were originally from Latvia and you're now currently based in Dubai. Can you tell us a little bit about your musical journey? Because I know you was actually singing in London before you came to Dubai. That's right. Can you right. tell us about that? Yeah, so initially I'm from Latvia, which is a small country in Europe. And uh, then I decided to pursue my dreams uh, in music and I moved to London to pursue education and just kind of find myself as an artist. And I feel like London was uh, a place for me where I really discovered my sound and started experimenting and producing and writing music. Um, and then uh, obviously after that, I was introduced to an opportunity to move to the Middle East and I moved to Qatar and then Dubai later on. And Dubai has definitely been a huge stepping stone in my career as well and the things that I've been able to do. Mm. So if our viewers want to see you in person, obviously they're going to see a performance right now, but if they want to come and see you in person, where can they catch you? So currently I am singing every Thursday in Westin, which is in Mina Siyahi. Okay. I am playing the piano as well and singing at the same time. Um, but also I will be doing uh, Mother of the Nation uh, every pretty much every weekend in Abu Dhabi. So I hope people can come and see me there as well. Thank you so much. I'm sure everybody will be really interested and excited to come and see you at Mother of the Nation. I'm gonna leave you to set up right now. Dua, can you tell us now where people can catch us if they miss out on the show? While Alyssa sets up, don't forget to check us out on YouTube for anything you might have missed. You know, all the COP related stuff, all our performances at Dubai One TV on YouTube. 
Alternatively, you can follow us on Instagram at Dubai One TV, but don't forget to use that hashtag DXB today for all those good stuff that you're doing. Keep us informed. Can I just say it's been a wonderful show. Thank you so much, ladies. And You're this welcome. is delightful. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all for us today. And make sure and join us again for tomorrow as we discuss sustainable events and education at COP28. Now, as promised, it's time for our performance of the evening. This is the lovely Alicia. Afraid of being afraid Is a diagnosis without a cure Who told you I'm the only one Feeling insecure There is no need to try and calm me down Oh, I feel the same even when you are around mm. Will I ever feel the same like I did? Will I ever breathe in the air that we breathe? Will I ever see you again by the shore of the Oh <laughs>